I give you love, if I give you love, you go walk out the door. What's good, what's good, what's good, what's good, what's good, beautiful people? It's your boy Emmanuel. Welcome back again to the channel. Of course, if you're new to the channel, go by the name of Emmanuel, aka Power My Papi. I review Nigerian music, Afro beats, Afro pop, so check out the rest of the content here and on my main channel, link in the bio as well. All right, today, 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 we are checking an artist, an amazing artist that I've been a fan of. Okay, I'm just doing out this review because. Um, um, the management of this artist reached out to me and thought, oh, could I make a review to this? And I and I listened to the project first, and this is not a reaction video, it's more like a quick review. Um, first off, my first impression, they sent me two songs that were off of this EP, and one was Kona, Kona, and the other one was Good Enough. First song was Good Enough that I heard, blown away blown away by this song i'm so excited about this artist this was one of those instances of music being sent to me that i was like i have to come here and talk about it because now this ep is called akira and um it's by an artist coco now coco is for the lack of a better term um afrofusion artist he has strong very soulful tendencies as well on this record um his delivery is very unique it, it matches the mood it matches the vibe of the entire song he plays around with a lot of yoruba lingo his yoruba is very fluent and 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 very strong and very impactful like the songwriting as well is very brilliant especially on the first track called akira i absolutely love the yoruba runs in that song the bridges was very experimental he, he was tackling different ranges and different ways to vibe on that beats and by the way the production on this out of this world i think trouble was was the main producer on this entire ep strong body of work when it comes to production especially because this was very modern very 2020 it wasn't sounding dated whatsoever and it very very well complemented his delivery like coco's very very like professional delivery and the guy is apparently 18 but he sounds very well polished like his, his delivery on this one was very very polished the entire mix and two of the song for an artist that i think he's independent as well again there's a lot of things i was just taking off of this project i was like wow this is actually a very decent project I'm waiting for that color response part man hey hey tell him we met some Akira, I give it me. Come on, come on, come on. This is a smooth jam, bro. Next track, Kona Kona, another record that I heard first off, off of the email that I got. Man, brilliant, brilliant. By the way, man. Shout out to whoever constructed the email that was sent to me. It was a very, very well worded approach. Jeez. Wait for it, wait for it, wait for it, wait for it. Come on. The bass, are you hearing that bass? Let me be now. I be my baby, baby mama, baby mama. Come on, man. Now nah, his delivery on this record was so strong. Um, the harmonies are very matching. Uh, obviously, the narrative of the song is this: is has been all be, all been similar. He's been trying to convince a girl that he's 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 good enough to be a baby father. He's good enough that I like, forget the other guys. Think about me, kind of thing. I think the narrative alone was very consistent throughout the project. And I'm a big fan of this body of work, man. It's very, very, very well done. Now, funny enough, the track with Buju what ended up being my least favorite song. <laughs> I know, like, and this was a song that was being pushed more. Obviously, having Buju on it, it makes sense that you push a song with a notable artist. Well, not notable. Buju is still finding himself right now. But at least in terms of name recognition, it makes sense that you push the song. And, by the way, this coming in very early in the year, not a lot of records, not, not a lot of big names that are dropping their projects right now. So it's a very good time to release a project as an independent artist in the first, maybe, maybe the first two months of the year. Not a lot of like art, big artists are rushing to drop early in the year. They, they, they tend to drop towards the summer or building up towards like maybe fall, just about to hit Christmas, that kind of timeline. So if you're an independent artist, it makes sense to captivate Again, yes, you're gonna be taking over many playlists if you're releasing around this time too. So it's a good idea to definitely, definitely release in January or like in the first first couple of weeks into the year because the slow, it's a very slow month for, for big names, okay? So by the way, this was a song that was getting pushed 
by many of the other playlists, which makes sense. But it was it ended up being my least favorite on this song because on every other track was so much better, so much more better. Mona Lisa, Mona Lisa was a song I skipped. My bad. <laughs> Mona Lisa is beautiful, man. Okay. Again, another love song. If by the way, go check it out. Now back to the song with Buju, Love Bad Gals. It's the more childish one. It's the much more like commercial leaning, like set a party record, set the mood, up tempo. I hear it. It's not terrible, but compared to every other thing on this EP, I felt it was kind of like a setback of a song. It felt, it felt very cheap. I think that's the word I'm looking for. It just felt like a cheap melody to to pick up on that kind of beat. But nonetheless, still a good record to, to, to sell himself. But if I was to pick a song to sell him, it would be a song that the, the artist manager actually sold me with. And that would be the last track, Good Enough. Already, this song, I was already playing casually because at this point, I knew I was going to review the EP just of how much I love the EP. I couldn't stop playing the song. This song was on loop, bro. This particular song, Good Enough. The intro, how the song comes in, the pace that it gives you, the braggadocia, the confidence. It's just telling you how confident it was that how can you say I'm not good enough, basically. And that was the energy the song basically gave. The, the atmosphere of the of the production is so clean, so so modern, so polished. It's just a very, very good song. Definitely one of my favorite songs so far this year. I know it's been early in the year, but this is a song that I've been stuck with. If by now my playlist isn't out, this was absolutely my favorite song of this month. And guitar, let's go. Coco, let's go. Yeah. Hey. Drop my guy. If you give me love, if you give me love, I go walk on the door. What a strong way to end an EP. That's how you end an EP, man. Very strong, very powerful. Very punching, right in your face, addictive melody. Ugh, I absolutely, absolutely love the song. Looking forward to more projects from him. I'm hoping he's able to visualize these songs one way or the one way, one way or the other, man. Um, I'm looking forward to the artist. It's an amazing, an amazing body of work for the first, for the first body of work out. This, I think, this is his first release whatsoever. An artist that I was just hearing off, just off of my email, my email inbox, bro. And I, he, he stole the show. Definitely very impressed with this artist. Let me know what you guys think. If I was to put a number to it, straight up, 8.2. 8.2 out of 10 for me. It's strong, strong work. With that being said, thank you so much for watching. Obviously, obviously, if it's your first time here, don't forget to subscribe, like, share, all that good stuff, okay? More reactions, more reviews coming out. I'm going aggressive this year. I'm hoping, I'm hoping to go aggressive this year, all right? So, yeah, thank, thank you so much for watching again. I'll see you guys on the next one. One. Peace. Yeah. If I give you love, if I give you love, you go walk out the door. If you give me love.